Hi. Hello. Uh, this is a tour of uh, my dictionaries. So uh, the, the first one is um, the Dictionary of Imaginary Places. There we go. And it is by Alberto Manuel and Gianni Guadalupe. And um, this one, this one is, uh, it, it's written kind of like a tour guide and it, it, it goes through all of these fantastical places. It's, it's great for inspiration. Um, it's, it, it's written in sort of say the, like these snapshots, um, but um, you, you get warnings and, you know, be careful when you do this and that and sort of say uh, when you're in Oz and uh, when you're in Narnia. So um, yeah, uh, I can re recommend this. Great for inspiration. There you go. Um, my next one is a what's called a reverse dictionary. When you have the word on the tip of your tongue, and um, you remember the definition, or you have a vague idea of the definition. So this is um, Bernstein Bernstein's uh, reverse dictionary, and uh, there we go. Right, and yeah. Um, it's, it, unfortunately it's more of a novelty and, um, I, I, but I love the idea of it. It, 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 it makes sense. And sometimes I'll just sort of wander through and, uh, uh, uh something will pop out, um, gr a great selection of words that, um, sort of like say not often used, but, uh, worthy. Um, here's another dictionary, the dictionary of dreams and, um, it's uh, what's on the cover, um, Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bach, I think is on the cover. Anyways, this, um, this is another one for inspiration, um, especially when rewriting and going through a scene and there's say a speci specific object that I'm thinking of, or, or I say I notice and I'm thinking about say um, symbolism and subtext and um, say tying things together thematically then um, I'll, I'll, I'll bounce through this and uh, yeah, especially for symbols. So, Dictionary of Dreams. Uh, the, um, etymology dictionaries, I have two etymology dictionaries. Uh, one of them, one of them, this one um, by Walter Skeets is uh, older and uh, it's, it's preoccupied in that sense. Um, it's, it's got a different angle than the other one, which is um, uh, by the uh, Oxford um, University Press. And so they have a slightly different selection of words. They have a slightly different um, analysis and angle. And uh, yeah, so um, I'll, I'll pair those up. As as I'm uh, as I'm rewriting, for uh, thesaurus, sorry, uh, I have a Scottish um, thesaurus uh, full of great uh, words that are sometimes connected to Gaelic, which predates uh, English, and uh, and in uh, uh, feeds into it too. There are words commonly used in English that um, uh, still exist. Uh, this other thesaurus, uh, uh, Rajets or Rajes, is um, it's organized by category, which so how to how to describe that? So here's uh, here's the categories here, the top categories: uh, abstract relations, space, matter, intellect volition, affections. Uh, and it's, a, it's another way of just say, looking at um, a word from, from a different angle, uh, uh, groupings, groupings of words. And then I have a straight up um, uh, Merriam-Webster's collegiate thesaurus. And um, what do I like about it? It's big, more words. The actual dictionaries I have are, um, I have a small one uh, that I found in a shop and it's, it's, it's like this um, miniature 
OED, um, and I've had to wrap it myself uh, and tape it up. Uh, but it's it's sort of like the OED in 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 tiny form, because the OED is massive. Um, all right, and so this is an odd choice, but um, this is a, a scra uh, for Scrabble, uh, Scrabble dictionary, and uh, it has the most amazing selection of words, and I so I can recommend it that uh, for that. Into the definitions, um, I want to say truncated, but the definitions are are. are are short. Uh, it's it's not going into uh, etymology at all. And then I have uh, Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary. Um, this is British English, and again, it's a it's it's a different slant. Um, up here in Canada in Vancouver, we're using it, it. In reality, it's actually it's actually a mix of uh, American English and British English, uh, but. Um, uh, this also has a selection of words that are specifically British, and um, yeah, so so that's interesting to to come across words that uh, aren't aren't even used in Canada. Um, all right, so um, language dictionaries, um, Italian, uh, French, uh, which up here uh, I'm constantly reminded of that say when you're shopping um, English is either paired up on a bottle or it's on the back of a box they'll have um, they'll have French uh, German and um, that's what is that that's uh, the the old English it has this connection to to German and then uh, uh, Spanish and that's connecting to um, the United States where where we have a lot of Spanish and these dictionaries, the language dictionaries, um, are also pointing me to say uh, the origin of, of of words, where they're coming from, but also this uh, uh, cross pollinization uh, of of language that uh, is always going on. And and it and it's inspiring. I'll be flipping through, and I might find something that uh, is is neat. And so finally, here is the um, the random house, and uh, I always wanted like a giant dictionary, and so this is my this is my bad boy. This is my big uh, big one, and um, again, it has a greater selection of words. It has um, sometimes more depth than the others do, and I think that's pretty much it. I think there was one one other one, but anyways. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me on this little tour of my dictionaries.